Today, I'll be showing you all a few super easy ways to boost your FPS and get less input delay in Fortnite Chapter 5. I'll try to keep this guide super fast, but be sure to stick around to the end to get the best performance possible. Also, make sure to use code PINCH in the item shop, and let's get right into it. So starting off with your in-game settings, be sure you have it set to full screen and not on windowed full screen or windowed mode. And if you want the best performance possible, be sure you have performance mode set selected as you will get way more FPS and way less delay in comparison to DirectX 11 or DirectX 12. Moving on down, I highly recommend turning your 3D resolution to around 80 or 85%. The lower this goes, the less input delay and the more frames you get, but it does make your game look worse, so I found that around 80 or 85% is the sweet spot. Turn off Nanite Virtualized Geometry. I keep my view distance on far, but if you want the best performance, turn this to near or medium. Turn your textures to low and keep meshes on low as well. Next, go to the third tab over and scroll all the way down. Unless you actually use replays, be sure to tick all of these to off. And under energy saving, be sure to turn both of these off. Having all of these on off will make a massive difference in your FPS. So that's it for the in-game settings. Next, you want to go to your search bar and type in game mode. Open this up and be sure that you have game mode turned on. But be sure that you have captures and game bar all turned off. Next, open up your power and sleep settings and be sure that you have it selected on high performance. Next, open up your task manager and select startup and disable as many applications as you can. It's totally fine to leave the ones you need enabled, but for the ones that you don't need turned on, be sure to disable them. Next, right click on your desktop and open up NVIDIA control panel. If you don't have an NVIDIA GPU, try to follow along the best you can as your AMD or Intel control panel likely has similar settings. Now starting off under the change resolution tab, be sure that your monitor's refresh rate is set to the highest number. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people with 240 hertz monitors be playing on 60 hertz and have no idea. So this is definitely something worth double checking. Next, go to adjust image settings with preview, select use the advanced 3D image settings, and then hit take me there. Copy these settings exactly as I have them, it's definitely worth pausing the video to make sure you have these all correct. Now, this was a pretty basic guide, but if you did follow this all the way through, I assure that your frames will increase and you'll have less input delay. If you all do want a more complex guide in the future, please let me know as there is a lot more you can do to optimize your PC. With that being said, if you did find this video useful, please be sure to drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new.